Hey, welcome back here. Uh, going to do a little video on some uh, preview, some cards sending in for PSA and some new pickups. So start off with, uh, I'm going to submit in some of uh, these little Topps Micro uh, cards from 1993. I'm especially curious about the Derek Jeter rookies out of these. Uh, uh, they're kind of rare. Don't see many of them graded. Uh, if you get a PSA 9 or 10 on these, you're going to sell... Uh, for big money. So I want to give these a try on a bulk order. Uh, I'm not in a hurry to get them back or anything. So when they get back is I'll be I'll try to sell them then. But uh, I've also got a couple I'm going to send in some some of the major stars out of the set to a couple of George Brett's uh, who else uh, Sammy Sosa I'm going to do Ozzy Smith. Um, I just kind of picked out the star guys and if they look well centered Gonna give them a shot, get some extra stuff. Bo Jackson, Frank Thomas. Uh, got a couple of Griffies. I'm gonna try those too. See how they look. Nicely centered. So, just kind of curious as to what kind of money they'll bring if they get decent PSA grades. There's nice pocket, and I do believe I got a couple of Nolan Ryan's. Both look decently centered. So let's give them a try. Maybe five, six months from now when I get them back, we'll, uh, they'll be on a video then to, about submission returns. So, but, yeah, these look nicely centered for being... They're about the size of a postage stamp. Uh, here we got, uh, I think, Yount and uh, Sandberg. Some veteran stars at that time. Uh, I think I got Bonds in here. And who's the other guy? Um, Gary Carter. I'm going to try those two. And then a couple of the, they're not really true rookie cards, but a lot of people look at them as like some first-year cards or whatever. But uh, the Mike Piazza and the Chipper Jones, they're prospect cards, I guess, is what they're called. But uh, they do have actually rookie cards before this year, uh, 1993, of the Topps Micro. Uh, and these micro boxes also have a little uh, silver foil prism packs in each one. I opened two of them, so I picked out a couple of the better ones to try. Yount and Nolan Ryan there. Um, here we got a um, the Frank Thomas. Uh, a couple of Kirby Puckets. I checked the population reports on these, and there's like under under 30 or between 30 and 40. Uh, total of these ever even been graded so worth giving them a shot maybe rarity some longtime collector there's a Griffey one and a Don Mattingly and uh, gonna send them in see how we do so uh, after this we're gonna next up uh, I picked up a pretty decent Thurman Munson rookie 1970 tops looks nicely centered corners pretty good We'll see if we can get a decent grade on this one. Just one of the all-time popular Yankees. Next up, I got some Lewis Robert rookie cards that I'll be sending in. Uh, might as well send them in now. Uh, probably by the time I get them back, it'll be next year. But uh, with any luck, he'll get the uh, rookie of the year in the American League. And he's like he's the favorite, so... I've been buying small lots of him and just cherry picking out the better centered ones and the popular ones like the base tops from series two. Um, I'm going to have some, I got some chrome ones coming in. The tops chrome of Lewis Robert of this same card. Um, I mean, if, all you got to do is look at the last couple years, the hot rookies from the last couple years, their, their tops chrome uh, seems to be a real popular card. Here's some of the, 2018 Bowman uh, paper uh, prospect cards of Robert. One of his first cards. His first Bowman card. Always a good popular card. I think I got one Chrome to submit in. Get that one graded. It looked pretty nice. PSA 10s of this card. Sells for good money. So let's give it a shot. Take a closer look at it. 
Surface looked real good. I didn't see any smut creases or uh, not creases, but scratches or anything. The next up, one that does have a scratch on it, I saw, but still want to grade it. 93 SP, Derek Jeter. PSA graded cards of this one sell pretty decent. Corners are decent on this. I know there is a surface scratch, so I'm actually kind of curious as to how that scratch, one little scratch, will affect the grade on it if the everything else looks nice on it. I, usually you'll see white on the corners on the back or the front, and uh, this one I didn't see any, so. I mean, all signs look like it could be a high grade, except for it de does have a definite surface scratch on the front, and I found it. Next up is a 97 Bowman, or 2007 Bowman, a Adrian Peterson rookie. I have actually nothing of him um, in my uh, inventory, so I wanted to give that one a try. Also got a nice uh, Alvin Kamara Prism Silver rookie card. Uh, I, I'm kind of waiting for him to have a bust-out season. Uh, 89 tops traded, Randy Johnson. I think this is a Tiffany reason why I picked this one out. Nicely centered. It's got the really bright back that kind of makes one of the reasons you call them, they call them Tiffany's, is that back is extra, extra bright compared to a regular one. So, all right, and last up on my preview here is a uh, 81 Donruss George Brett. I just picked this out as a just a random shot to try. Nicely centered, dice corners. All right, next up we have a few more uh, Diamond Kings Lewis Robert rookies. And then we have a couple of the uh, Series 2 tops. Another, another one of these looks nice. Um, tops Chrome. Lewis Robert. Uh, I've got more of these coming. Gonna I get eight or nine of these, we can send them all in in big batch. All right, next up is gonna be uh, 2011 Bowman Chrome Refractor Altuve rookie. Look pretty nice. And one I'm really anxious to get back, uh, the 2012 Topps Heritage Mike Trout. It's not a true rookie base card, but it's his first heritage card. Very popular card. Close, nice close up. Pose picture of him. Corner's really clean on this. Centering really good. I'm hoping for a really nice high grade on this one. And it, it's, it's big money on a high grade card of this. Even this back looks really nice. Uh, next card is going to be uh, Kershaw 2008. Tops update and highlights. This is probably his best base rookie card. And also I've, I've got on the fence on this one. 2012 Bryce Harper tops update. The bottom left corner is kind of weak on this. I don't think it'll get a PSA 10. Uh, I'll debate on whether or not I want to send this in in a group batch on the bulk order or not. Just not not too kind of it. Uh, again, I another series two tops. This one I probably won't send in because of the upper right corner's got got a little issue with it catch it in the light just right uh, you can see a little uh, there's something wrong with the corner so probably not send this one in uh, next card up 2015 prism like an x-fractor autograph rookie card uh, um, francisco lindor uh, this one i think is serial numbered on the side here out of 125 it, but it's his rookie year, 2015, same as his tops update. So I think we'll, uh, maybe we'll send this in. Uh, another one I got in the same same deal was uh, Freddie Freeman's 2011 Bowman Sterling. Uh, it's a parallel dual jersey rookie card. It's got the rookie logo on it. So, all right, next on to some PSA graded cards I just got in, uh, 53 tops. Allie Reynolds, PSA 4. I just like the look of these 53 tops. Nicely centered. Uh, PSA 4 on these is, I mean, I don't see my whole, <laughs> why it's only a 4, but it looks nice to me. 
Uh, next up is a 61 Fleer, or no, 61 Tops Jack Kemp, second year card. Uh, PSA 7 on this. I uh, kind of bought this thinking I'd for uh, help a guy that's working on this second series set from this year. But uh, I might just buy another one and keep the PSA one for myself. I like the bright red colors background. All right, on to some more. Uh, uh, bought a couple of mantles, uh, 62 and a 63. Here's the 63 tops, PSA 3.5. Yeah, it's got a big corner ding on the upper right, but center is nice. Nice picture on it. Bottom looked okay. Um, I don't mind having this one. And here's the 62 tops, PSA 3. The wood grain borders are hard to find really nice on these. But it's a mantle. I'll add them to my stack. Also got in a, in a trade, I got an 84 USFL. Steve Young rookie is a PSA 8. Just don't come across this card very much at all, so uh, I like it. So put it in the stack. Last card on the video here is a uh, one I've been after for a while. 57 tops, Bart Starr rookie, PSA 3.5. Pretty sure I'll get a couple of the guys I know are going to be wanting this for me. Bart's, he's just getting more and more expensive to get this buy his rookie card, so I'll uh, I don't think I'll own this one long. That's the last card in the video. Subscribe to my page, like the video, and look for some more vid more for me in the future. All right, thanks.